Hello everyone, thank you for watching John's Clunker Cars again. I'll be working on the Model T again. Uh, I'll be just finishing the disassembly of this differential and I'll probably move on to this drive shaft. Then once I get that done, I'll probably spend the rest of the day cleaning all these parts there so they can all be looked at and see if they're good or need to be replaced. Then I will clean up these radius arms and paint them too. Should also probably put this on like I said I was going to do the last time and paint these front parts here like I said I was going to do the last time and we'll see what else we get done. These bearings don't look too bad. Some of them, when they get worn out, they can start to sort of wobble back and forth, but these are pretty tight, so. Moves a little bit. That's okay. They can be peened over up here on the top to tighten them up again. That's what my dad told me, so he can, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, see, this one's pretty tight yet. This rubber piece here, that goes up into the axle here, I'll show you. It goes into the axle right there. If you can see in there, that's where it sits. So I'll have to degrease all this, maybe with the pressure washer or lots of Degreaser. I'll wipe it out first. And it's not so bad inside, I guess. I'll have to clean up all these parts and we'll have to see how worn out they are and make a parts list. At first glance, this looks good too. Then we're left with the pinion ring. Here's the thrust washer. Here's one of these thrust washer pins that you'll have to check to see if it's broken or needs to be replaced. I don't think it'd be very good if one of those broke.
Well, I will clean this up and let you guys know what it looks like when I'm done. So I gotta go start washing parts. And for this, I think I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse to see what that looks like. I've never tried it before, but we'll see what it looks like. I got all these parts cleaned in the parts washer. Happens pretty fast for you guys on a time lapse. So what I'm gonna do now, or what I kind of already did, was take a look at all these gears, see if there's any issues with them. Another surface to check is this one that the gear rides on. They look they all look good. There's no pitting on them. These gears look okay to me. We'll reuse them. Another thing to keep in mind if you need to buy gears, if you're looking on eBay or online, Ford stamps a lot of their uh, their name Ford into most of their parts. So right on this gear, maybe you can barely see that there, it says Ford on it right there, stamped in. So if you're looking for parts at garage sales or online, if you see a little Ford stamp, you know it's for a Ford at least, not a Chevy or a Buick or something else. Yeah, this one has Ford stamped in it twice. And this one has it stamped in it once. And this one is stamped right here, of course. I got this all cleaned up too. Another surface to check is this one. This one's pretty smooth. There's no big pitting marks. Now, when you start washing parts, it's a good time to look for problems. Now, another problem that happens on Model T's a lot, especially when they're this old, it's right here, you see this pin? See how it's just mushroomed out or bent down? Well, it'll probably take a little bit longer, but that pin would eventually just get wiped out. Then your thrust washers, they would uh, start to spin on the surface the plate wood, this metal plate wood, and that start wearing it out. It's not supposed to spin on here. Eventually what could happen is it could fall off and it could start rubbing on your axle and start wearing a groove in it. I saw an example of that in a manual I just read before I took this apart. Another thing you could check is to set this back in here. See how it fits nice. There's no play. So all these parts are good. On these bearings, to check these bearings, you'll want to see if there's these surfaces are pitted at all, which these aren't, these are in pretty good shape. These grooves in here are to keep the oil in it, keep them lubricated. Well, I think I said before to check if these are wobbly, this one's tight. The ends look good and stamped forward in it. We'll reuse these, that one. This one's just slightly loose, but it's still in good shape. But yeah, there's no pitting on this one either. Now this one's wobbly. This is an example of a wobbly one. That's not very, that's not so bad. My dad said you can peen these ends here and that'll help tighten up the bearings. Yeah, this one's in good shape too. This one's tight to you check. Yeah, this one's tight too. I noticed that the outer bearings, like these, were a little looser than the inner ones were not. I'll uh, clean up these axles and we'll look take a look at those in that ring gear. And I got this cleaned up enough to where I could touch it without making a mess. I'm sure there's a way to get this off. I just don't know how. 
I'll read the manual, see if that says anything. This is the Ford service manual provided by my father that I use. Now to take the ring gear off, it says right here, paragraph 571, remove differential drive gear from differential case left by tapping the back of the gear with a copper hammer. See figure 327 right there. See a guy doing it right there. Starting to come off part now. It's funny what happens when you read the manual. I was surprised I was able to get it apart with the rubber hammer, but I guess that works too. So I'll clean this up and show you what it looks like. We'll inspect it. Now I was going to say another thing, if you don't have a parts washer like that, you can always buy a few gallons of diesel fuel and put it in a tub and start scrubbing that way too, that works. You don't have to have fancy tools to restore cars. I got the ring gear all cleaned up. Now you can see there is some wear on it, now let's see if I can let you guys see this right on the outside of the pinion gear here it's pitted you can kind of see it well, that'll be okay there is a wear pattern on here a, though very slight it does look like it's in it's been in the right spot the whole time but for being 92 years old it's in good shape so we will reuse this. Uh, you have to do a good job inspecting these because your ring gear and pinion on a Model T are very important because they're not only used to just go forward, but they're also used when you stop. So there's always some pressure on them. Now this plate here, this one's in good shape. Two, here's another one of these pins. We'll replace all of these pins. I'm just showing you where they're at. This one's in pretty good shape for its age. Other than that, I don't see any other issues. Besides right here, there seems to be... Uh, there, you guys can kind of see it right there. Some big pitting here, but... Not really sure what that's... Another service to check is this one. For pit pitting that one's good too you can also take your spider gears and drop these in here to check that that's still tight so we're looking like we're in pretty good shape for this differential one thing I wanted to show you is this axle shaft here has a good gear on the end but the keyway right here is broken out now how this happens could be a loose key in the keyway while it's knocking against it eventually wearing it out or in it breaking or it cracked before from something or what probably happened was someone in their model t decided that they're going to raise someone in a model a the model t lost because you know a Model T engine with 20 horsepower has enough power to do this. Though maybe if you're drag racing a Model A. So that's how that happens. But I'll go on to cleaning this mess out. I've kind of been avoiding that. These axles, I'll, no I'll do these axles first. This looks like a big mess. But it has to be cleaned up. It's kind of the boring part of car restorations maybe. but has to be done, so I'll get to work.
Now I'm going to paint something I probably should have painted a long time ago. And this is something I said I was going to paint two videos ago. But here I am doing it now. Looks pretty good to me. Now lastly, the spindle. There we go. Looks a lot nicer than it did before. I got the differential all pressure washed out and degreased. I just used the pressure washer we have at home and uh, simple green and sprayed it in there and sprayed it out. When you guys do this, you should probably wear a raincoat because I got it soaking wet. But if you don't have a pressure washer, you could take it to one of those car washes where you have to put it in quarters. You could go that route or you could take it to a machine shop and they could boil this out, make it clean. But it turned out pretty good. You can still see the original paint. There's also these pins in here, which we will probably replace. Got all the grease off pretty nicely. This one looks good too. This one cleaned up nice. No more grease. Doesn't take long when you have a pressure washer. It'd take forever if you had to scrape this, but. So I got all this stuff cleaned up. These are these thrust washers. Thrust bearings, I think they're called. Maybe I showed you guys. This is made out of a, what's called Babbitt material. I think it's a mixture of tin, lead. You can always look it up, but they have a modern replacement for these, which we may go that route. Those are all painted. You got the axles all cleaned up. Now over here, I got the front end painted like I wanted to do a long time ago, but the Model T project is coming along nicely. I wanted to thank everyone for watching and all the new viewers, the new subscribers. So if you want, uh, subscribe and like the video and comment. So thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.